Here in the THP Tech Studio, we have two new irons from Tour Edge Exotics, the C721 and the E721. Uh, slightly different profiles between the two, uh, but they both feature dual VibraCore technology, which is a TPU used in two separate places. And that goes along with their Diamond Face 2.0. And this all encompasses a great feel. Uh, seems like a little bit more of a dense experience versus a traditional hollow body profile. Uh, so I think the best thing we can do is go into the uh, into the uh, bay and hit some shots and have a conversation about the two heads and see what we get. And we're officially in the bay, not that I've moved very much. I have C721 in my hands. Very curious about this profile. This appears to be the more compact of the two. Uh, so I think we'll hit a few shots, at least show you guys a few shots, and then maybe hit a couple more and then move over to the E721 and then take a look at the stats and see how they differ. Now, in this case, we do have the KBS uh, Tour Graphite Iron in 70R. Uh, not, maybe not the best for me, but I think from what I saw in my preliminary swings, it actually worked out pretty well. So let's take a look. Pin set to 190. Yeah, I mean, Great results right out of the gate. There is a, definitely a unique profile to the C721, something I wasn't really anticipating from a hollow body iron standpoint. I would say it actually profiles a little bit more dense than that. I know it's a word I've used on THP TV before. Uh, I think it actually applies very well here. So we look at the numbers, 5100, I'm playing my preferred ball. Looks great to me. Let's hit a couple more and see what we get. All right, this is a great opportunity to see the performance from a miss perspective that was hit a bit on the toe. Still some great numbers at one, about 170 yards of carry. More than I deserve, certainly. And I think that is a big part of this Diamond Face 2.0 hollow body profile. You get a little bit of support on your miss hits. Moving into the data a little bit here, seeing similar spin numbers, which I always like to see as you move around the face. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit one more. And as I like to do, I'm going to try and work it just a little bit on this, see how much availability for that there is. And I like that little carve off the line. I usually play my draws down the line and over. I got exactly what I was looking for, a little bit more distance as well. Just taking a quick look at the numbers, 128 mile an hour ball speed, which is fantastic. Spins down a little bit, because again, I did trap the ball. Uh, pretty much exactly what I was hoping to see from a performance standpoint, but it also showcases the fact you can move these left to right if you absolutely need to. I think these look like three good shots. Let's move into the E721 and uh, hit a few with those. And back in the bay once again, this time with E721. It's definitely a different look from the C721. It has a visible depth of difference in between in the back of the sole, or sorry, back of the club head. Uh, it's also an extreme toe weighted profile experience. And that's definitely something you can see from the cosmetics of the club. They're also power lofted and, and continue that dual vibra core experience on the head. So I expect a similar strike experience. However, I'm, I do anticipate potentially a, a little bit different in a total result. Uh, but the best way to do that is to hit three shots and see what comes of it. I'm playing my preferred ball for these, this test. If you weren't aware, that is the Bridgestone uh, Tour B RX. That's a very low spin profile, which serves my game very well. Well, straight out of the gate, a very, very strong contender for best shot of the grouping. Over 190 yards of carry, which is what I certainly hope to achieve with a 7-iron of this profile. Uh, and ball speed substantial. I think this is the fastest so far that we've seen. Just taking a quick look at the data here, 5,500 is my window. Uh, I know I can gain about 1,000 there by changing balls, uh, but that is definitely my focus from a 7-iron of this profile. So let's hit it two more times and see what we can do. Oh, 
All right, now we get to see what that extreme toe weighting does. This was actually hit a little bit toe side of center. I could feel that on contact. The overall results was a tiny little pull draw, but uh, it looks like we're saving a lot of that power almost in the same number at 129 mile per hour for speed. It's been dropped a tiny little bit, uh, but result wise, it's everything I'm looking for. We'll go ahead and hit one more shot and see if we can hit a good one. Well, this is great. It actually presents that little cut fade that I'm, or little cut that I've been playing a little bit left to start and bringing it back to center. Uh, great carry distance and by far the best ball speed so far. I think the best thing we can do now is go look at the table and see the difference between the two heads to get a better idea how they'll perform from an expectation standpoint when you go and have it for yourself. Looking at the table view of Tour Edge Exotics C721 and E721, I'm pleasantly surprised in the way that the results came out. Uh, there's a fair bit going on between the two heads and creating a unique experience. And I think this is very telling when you look at the different elements that are in play. For example, the power loft profile of the E721 would lead me to anticipate a little bit of a greater carry. A uh, little bit surprised in the ball speed being so much better, uh, but I'm sure that was probably my swing and in times and uh, definitely a different look. But what I really like about that is the additional backspin, which is which is very good for people who are needing that, maybe not crazy launch, but a little bit of help on that spin ratio there. Looking at C721 overall, uh, I know I hit one a little bit heavy, which is probably driving down my backspin in total. But with the peak that I, height that I was seeing at 40 uh, yards, which is about 120 feet, that is not a concern of mine at all. And actually leads to supporting my goal with this kind of profile of iron which is to support full distance uh, which is obviously achieved at that 186 yards of carry average for those out there who are looking to hit this product it'll be uh, it is available and we're looking forward to your feedback uh, both on this video and on the thp community